Today, we're taking a look at this. The fastest growing nation in the G7 group of countries. That self-proclaimed group of the most advanced economies in the world. And it may come as some surprise to you, but the fastest growing nation among them is Canada, the Great White North. And more specifically, we'll be exploring its fastest growing cities. We'll consider why Canada is experiencing such healthy growth, see how it compares to other countries around the world, and examine its 10 largest and 10 fastest growing metropolitan areas. Canada is the second largest country in the world by landmass, filled with vast swaths of pristine lakes, mountains, forests, prairies, and arctic tundra. But despite its immense scale, it's only the 37th largest country in the world by population, having reached a symbolic milestone of 40 million people in 2023. For a bit of context, this is approaching one-eighth the population of its neighbor to the south, the United States. This gives it a very low population density overall, but since 90% of its population lives within a narrow band along its southern border, over 80% of its population is actually concentrated in urban centers. And the urbanization of its population continues as the country grows. In 2022, the results of Canada's 2021 census were released and showed that over a five-year period, Canada grew by a total of 5.2%. This meant Canada was the fastest growing member state of the G7 and grew at almost twice the rate of the next leading G7 countries, which were the United Kingdom at 2.9% growth and the United States at 2.6%. This also placed it as the 7th fastest growing country in the G20 group of countries, just behind Mexico at 5.6% and fractionally higher than India, which also grew by roughly 5.2%. So why is Canada growing so fast? Well, in a word, immigration. Like most of the advanced economies in the Western world, Canada's natural fertility rate dropped below the replacement rate of 2.1 births per woman decades ago, down to 1.4 births per woman in 2020. In part to compensate for its dwindling domestic birth rate, Canada long ago implemented a comparatively liberal and well-regulated immigration system that, along with the country's high standard of living, has made it a top global destination for newcomers. And so, in order to not just sustain growth, but also fuel an economy with access to a deep international pool of skilled labour, the Canadian government has, for many years now, maintained one of the highest rates of immigration of any country in the world. Over the previous census period, this amounted to admitting about 300,000 new immigrants a year, or around 0.8% of its total population. That's enough to create a new city of 1 million people every 3 to 4 years. Of course, Canada is not building an entirely new major city every 3 years, so where are all these newcomers going? Well, there are a number of urban centres that have historically been major magnets for immigration. These have typically included Canada's three largest centres of Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. While these cities still take in their fair share of new immigrants, soaring housing costs over the last few decades, especially in Toronto and Vancouver, have resulted in a now well-documented internal migration from overpriced major centres towards more affordable second and third tier cities, which is a trend most pronounced in the Canadian provinces of British Columbia and Ontario, where Vancouver and Toronto are located respectively. In recent years, COVID-related factors have only intensified some of these demographic trends. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's explore Canada's fastest growing cities. First, let's take a look at Canada's 10 largest metropolitan areas and their growth over the last five year census period, starting with the slowest growing. At number 10, Quebec City. The capital of the province of Quebec, Canada's seventh largest urban centre, and home to over 800,000 people, Quebec City grew by 4.1%. Number 9, Montreal. Canada's second largest urban centre with over 4 million inhabitants, Montreal grew by 4.6%. Number 8, Toronto. Canada's largest urban centre with over 6 million residents, Toronto also grew by 4.6%. Number 7, Hamilton. Ontario's historic centre of steel production and Canada's ninth largest urban centre at just under 800,000 population, Hamilton grew by 5%. Number 6, Calgary. The largest city in Alberta, the corporate heart of Canada's oil industry and Canada's fifth largest centre with 1.5 million residents, Calgary grew by 6.4%. Number 5, Winnipeg. Once known as Chicago of the North, Winnipeg, Manitoba is Canada's eighth largest centre and grew by 6.6% to over 800,000 in population. Number 4, Vancouver. Canada's third largest metropolitan area with over 2.6 million residents, Vancouver grew by 7.3%. Number 3, Edmonton. Canada's sixth largest centre and North America's most northern major city, Edmonton is home to 1.4 million residents and also grew by 7.3%. Number 2, Ottawa. 
Canada's national capital and its fourth largest urban center. Ottawa grew by 8.5% to just under 1.5 million residents. And number one, Kitchener-Waterloo. These twin cities form part of Canada's so-called Silicon Valley North and make up Canada's 10th largest metropolitan area at almost 600,000 in population. Kitchener-Waterloo is also one of the fastest growing urban centers in the country, adding nearly 10% in population over five years. Now that we're familiar with Canada's large metropolitan areas, let's take a look at its 10 fastest growing, all of which are over 100,000 in population, but most of which you've probably never heard of. Starting at number 10, Moncton, New Brunswick. Third largest urban center on Canada's east coast, Moncton is a regional transportation and logistics hub that grew by 8.9% to over 150,000 residents. Number 9, Guelph, Ontario. Located about an hour west of Toronto, Guelph is a manufacturing center of over 160,000 residents that grew by 9%. Number 8, Halifax, Nova Scotia. The largest urban center on Canada's east coast with a diverse economy and over 450,000 residents, Halifax grew by 9.1%. Number 7, Oshawa, Ontario. Located 45 minutes east of Toronto, Oshawa is one of Canada's major automotive manufacturing centers. It grew by 9.3% to over 400,000 in population. Number 6, Kitchener-Waterloo. As seen on our previous list, Kitchener-Waterloo is the fastest growing of Canada's top 10 largest centers at 9.9% and is nearly 600,000 in population. Number 5, Kamloops, British Columbia. The second largest center in British Columbia's southern interior, Kamloops is a transportation, administrative, and service hub that grew 10% to 115,000 residents. Number 4. London, Ontario. Located halfway between Toronto and Detroit, London is a regional centre for healthcare and education that grew 10% to over half a million residents. Number 3. Nanaimo, British Columbia. The second largest centre on Vancouver Island, Nanaimo is a transportation, retail, and resource processing hub that grew 10% to 115,000 residents. Number two, Chilliwack, British Columbia. Located about an hour east of Metro Vancouver, Chilliwack is a regional service center located in British Columbia's agricultural heartland, the Fraser Valley. With its proximity to Vancouver and comparatively affordable housing, it grew by 12.1% to 115,000. And number one, Kelowna, British Columbia. The province's third largest center, Kelowna is a fast-growing, diversifying metropolitan area with over 200,000 in population. This lakefront tourism center in the province's Okanagan wine region grew by 14% over five years. Now, there are at least two broad trends these lists highlight. One being that the growth of Canada's smaller centers is outpacing that of larger ones, and second, that the highest growth centers are located in British Columbia, Ontario, and on the East Coast. And so, as we wrap up our exploration of these thriving cities, it's evident that Canada's growth story is far from over. In fact, it's just the beginning. So, if you're curious to delve deeper into the implications of this rapid expansion, join us for part two, where we'll be taking a closer look at the forces behind this transformation and what it means for Canada, its cities, and its citizens. But first, tell us what you think. Do any of these cities or trends surprise you? Is Canada's next major city going to be some place most people have never heard of? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and if you enjoyed today's video, please tell us by hitting like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.